So I'm going to do it all wrong this weekend, and I'm going to like it. This weekend I'm going to be running in the Paris Marathon for the first time. It's going to be my sixth marathon. So I'm looking forward to just running a marathon that isn't New York. My training has been all over the yard for this. I've been running... Uh, I was on a good training block starting at the beginning of this year. It is now the beginning of April, so... I've had a pretty good run of it so far, but about a month ago I sl did a sl had a slight tear in my calf muscle, and so I was out for a couple of weeks. It healed, it's fine, but that couple of weeks ended a couple of weeks before the marathon, which is where your taper would normally go. So I've done a few runs since then, and I'm, you know, the leg is fine, I'm fine, but I'm very aware that any target times I may have had for this marathon are completely out the window because while you are supposed to taper at the end of a training block so I've taken a month off instead of two weeks or so and what that the only difference in that is that some of my fitness level has dropped I don't know how much it could be not very much at all it could be completely a bust so the expectations I had for this race are now out the window. My goal is to finish and not die. We shut up. We start up. So while it wasn't the most huge and well-rounded uh, expo that ever existed, it was perfectly fine. It had all of the things that you would want. It had ads for other marathons and other running tours and other things around the world, if that's your thing. It had lots of funky gear, lots of, you know, gels and dried fruit and whatnot. It certainly covered the barest of bare minimums and it was perfectly fine. So, I don't have any serious complaints about it. I wish it was bigger. For a race that's supposed to be about the same size in, you know, in terms of number of people running it as New York does, the expo was vastly smaller than New York. But honestly, I don't have any real complaints. Um, I'm ready to go. I bought some gels. Just, just a couple to top me up. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm glad I went. I got my bib. I got a snazzy running uh, backpack. Now it's time to head back, pick up Felix from school on Friday. It's his Friday. This is actually the beginning of his spring break. So we're going to go out and celebrate with some pizza in a new neighborhood. And um, yeah, happy Friday. Happy pizza day. Mesdames, Messieurs, le plus grand comique de France. C'est tout de suite, c'est maintenant, je tape deux fois, vous tapez une fois.
I've heard it said that there are two ways to approach a marathon. You can run it, or you can race it. We were all runners, everyone on that course, all 54,000 of us. It doesn't matter if you sprint the course like a crazed water bug, or you walk the whole way and finish at sundown. If you finish the course, if you ran the course, you're a marathoner. And regardless of what you might read or see among the more gatekeeper-y people out in the world, that's a rare distinction indeed. And that glory is all yours. Celebrate. Post your medal in a place of honor. Have a nice big meal and a good long nap. You deserve it. Let the miles, the kilometers, pass under my feet and enjoy running all the way around a legendarily beautiful city with a few thousand other people doing exactly the same thing. Even as my body was rebelling, between about 30 kilometers and the finish, my head was clear and focused. All I had to do was the thing I was doing. I didn't need to worry about anything else. There was nothing on fire that needed putting out, nothing urgent that I had left hanging, or if there was, there wasn't anything I could do about it until I got back. There was nothing except finishing the race. You know, aside from the fact that I'd basically taken the last month off from training, everything else had gone really well. I'd run just fine before that. In fact, I'd never run so many miles before a marathon. I woke up on race day pain-free, having eaten plenty of carbs the week before. My head was clear. I felt good. I'd even slept a bit, which, given that I have a four-year-old, was something that was not entirely within my control. On the course, I ran well. I stayed within my heart rate range. I took my gels at the right places. I drank lots of water. The crowds on the course made it easy to keep a positive attitude. Everything went right. But taking a full month off from training is just going to erode your general fitness level a bit. I knew that. I just didn't know how much. Turns out, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. But I finished, even if it was just by leaning on the experience of having done it before. And despite the fact that it's going to be a couple of days before I can go up and down stairs again without wincing in pain, it was absolutely worth it. I'm stronger now, and wiser, and hey, the next time I do this, this fall, in Amsterdam, I'll be better prepared. My project this year is to learn how to not injure myself, how to get the most out of myself, how to take this aging Gen X body of mine and do the best with it that I possibly can. But this, this was good. It's over. It's done. It's over. It's done. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the slowest marathon I've ever run. And I don't really care. I think it was great. The month off really, really took it out of me. And um, just a little note to self to never, ever, ever do that again. I, it was literally just experience that got me over. A couple of thoughts. First off, the ambulances were busy out there. It's not a super hot day, but it's kind of humid. I think that took a lot of people by surprise. There were a lot, there was a pretty heavy body count up there. I hope everybody's okay. Two, the bands were great. Like all the way along. There was some solid, solid music. I was really impressed by that. Merci bien. Hefty too. Nice and hefty. Like that. It's cake. This is. Let me eat cake. So you get cake and cheese. And only now is it starting to rain. It would have been nice to have it rain a little bit in the middle of the race. That'd be great. I forgot how hard a marathon can be. And that's something you should never do. Forget how hard a marathon is, because it'll remind you. I'm really looking forward to having a very nice long, long shower and a nap and a steak. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, rainy, Ready day. <laughs>